How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Foundry Channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I turn the styrofoam key into solid aluminum. Check it out. Okay guys, so to start this video, I'm just going to cut a nice 2 centimeter thick slice out of this housing insulation foam. It's high density and it works really well for sand casting with the lost foam method. So once I got a good slice cut out, I'm going to take it and then I'm going to draw the shape of my key onto it and proceed to cut it out with uh, an X-Acto knife. So to cut out the hole in the end of the key, I'm just using a screwdriver and just punching it out and then finishing the cut with an X-Acto knife. So the key was a little too thick for my liking, so I just cut it in half and then sanded it up just to make it look a bit nicer and have it a bit smoother. Okay guys, so while I was sanding, the two pieces kind of came apart, so I'm just going to glue them back together with some hot glue and then continue. Alright, so now that those are together, I'm just going to take a nice thick slice of normal styrofoam. This is just so that the aluminum has a channel to flow down before it gets to the key. It helps with casting. So there we go there. Alright guys, so now it is time to pour the sand casted mold thing. So I'm going to put the key in the middle of a bucket that's got already some sand in it and then start to pour sand all the way around it, making sure to fill in all the gaps. The more careful you are with filling in the gaps, the more detailed the key will come out when it is aluminum. So I'm just going to fill that up all the way to the top and then kind of make a bit of a funnel with my hands just so that the aluminum can flow down easily. Alright, so the foundry has been going for a few minutes now and I've melted some aluminum, so let's check on that. Alright, so it looks pretty melted. I'm going to take a bit of slag off the top, just with this old spike or something. I don't know what it is, but it works well. Alright guys, it is time to pour. So I'm going to take the cover off these. These are just there to keep it nice and hot in there. And you can see there's quite a bit of aluminum in there, likely enough to do the key. And yeah, I'm going to skim some of the slag off the top and we'll get ready to pour it into the foam. So I'm going to pull the crucible out of the foundry. I want to make sure I reset my grip because I don't want to drop it. So I'm going to put it down and then re-grip on the side. Then pick it up and start pouring. So here we go. And yeah, you can see the aluminum starts to flow down. And the styrofoam pretty much melts instantly. Alright, so I'm just going to put the crucible back in the foundry, and then a few minutes later we'll check out how the mold did, and we'll see if we got an aluminum key. Alright guys, 5 or 10 minutes later, let's see how it does. Here we go. Oh, so I didn't quite get the end of the key, but looks like I got a capital F. Okay, so now I'm just going to saw the end of the key off, just with a normal hacksaw. Alright guys, so here it is. This is my capital F, and yeah, <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to make another key and test it again. Alright guys, a few days later, here's my key number two, and I'm just going to do the same thing with the sand, filling it up, putting sand all around it, and then we'll try it again. Hopefully it works this time. So this time, instead of a funnel made with the sand, I'm using a can. It's a little easier, just because it directs the aluminum a bit better than a normal sand funnel. Alright, so the foundry is fired up again. It's really hot this time. You can see it's glowing red inside. So I'm going to take all the lid off and then pull it out after I skim some of the slag. And then, yeah, 
we'll be ready to pour. Alright, let's see if it works this time. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time. Put it down, re-grip with my tongs, and then pour it into the can. Alright, looks good. I have a lot extra, so I'm just going to pour a few ingots with the muffin pan. As you can see there. And yeah, we'll check on this in five minutes. Alright, let's see how it is. So the can came the can came right off this time, which is good. And then I'm just gonna pull it out and hope. Oh uh, and yes, so it worked great this time. I got the whole key. There's a little bit of a ring of burnt sand around it, but that'll come right off. So yeah. Let's polish this thing up. Alright, so first I'm gonna saw the key off of the base thing, which will only take like a few minutes. right off. Alright, so here is the key and the thing that was on it. Don't need that, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the way that the key turned out. It looks really nice, so I'm just gonna sand it a little bit and polish it up, and I'll show you that when it's done. Alright, so here are the finished keys. This is the first one that didn't quite come up properly. Yeah, I basically made it a capital F. And here's the second one. This came out really nicely. It got casted pretty much perfectly. And yeah, I polished it up. It's looking pretty shiny now. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, subscribe, and leave a comment about what you want to see next on the Foundry channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye.